My first impressions of Ben Ramis. You ever seen that show, The Munsters? People refer to him as a sweet young lad. Ben was the kid in The Munsters that lived in the dresser drawer. For the first four months, I didn't even understand him, even though he spoke English. In a bit of a pickle. The stuff that would come out of his mouth is pretty insane. Ten geese in a parlor. Dude, what the fuck is a keen geezer? <laughs> He's like the Energizer bunny. He wouldn't shut up. This kid is so innocent. Like doe-eyed little kid. Confused. And he was just excited to be anywhere. Messy. It's kind of all over the place. Crazy. Bloody. Always bloody. What the hell's wrong with this kid? We were like shocked. Hey, Scuba. Because he was so nice. I think I uh, trouble you for a glass of water. We were like, damn, Ben's cool. He's like real nice. Oh, thanks so much, man. Hey, can I take a shower? I'm sorry, Scuba. He keeps asking to use the restroom or get some water. Everything he was sorry for, no matter what it was. But then after like a few days, we we're like 15, 20 times a day. Shut up with like feeling bad. He definitely needs to chill out on that sorry thing. <laughs> I think people in the States think his accent is like really posh and proper. Gordon Bennett, mate. But I think it might not be. I was looking at that geezer, mate. Might be pretty ghetto. In it? In it. I like it. Oh, what's that? Oh, look at the amount of cows, mate. Oh, it stinks. Everything is completely new to him. Cows. Which is awesome. He's like an alien. He's like from another planet. Cow village. Cows everywhere, mate. Every time he's doing something, it's the first time he's ever done it. Whatever you want to do, he's down. Everywhere we go is the most amazing place he's ever been. Whoa, look at the size of this thing. Whoa, that dog's balancing on his back. That's amazing. Anything you do, he's just like, oh my god, really? The littlest things he gets psyched on. It's like, yeah, dude, you can have an S sticker. It's cool. Really? You, you can't really believe him anymore. I love this place. Oh, this is the, the most amazing restaurant I've ever been. I could eat the house of bagels for every single meal. And then you're like, yeah, you said that about breakfast and dinner last night, too. <laughs> Wrong side. There's probably definitely about over, there's probably about over 5,000 cows over there. Really? Everybody had their own little thing, but when he jumped off the cliff, I wouldn't call it a quote, but he made the craziest, like, gorilla noise. Instead of focusing boards, he likes to focus his clothes. I mean, I could totally understand how someone from England wouldn't know what the Super Bowl was, but then I had to explain to him that it was American football, and he asked me if it was that stuff where they wear the helmet and the pads. I mean, I understood, like, you don't know what the NFL is, but he wasn't even sure what, like, football is. He came over the other day and uh, met my baby, and he said, oh, mate, I've never seen a baby before. Oh. We're like, you've never seen a baby before? He's like, well, not up close. <laughs> you can see the little hands and the little feet and the... <laughs> it was good to hang out with someone on the uh, same intelligence level as you, huh? <laughs> I like getting made fun of and shit. Ben loves being abused. I know that may sound a little weird. Oh, you son of a bitch, Ben! <laughs> you know, we're skating this spot in Buffalo, New York, and Ben was trying to ollie into this bank, and he was asking everyone that was watching to just verbally abuse him. I feel way more comfortable around someone that takes the piss out of me. You work for this piece of shit, you run Basically, he had like 15 people just cussing him out, just abusing him, and he was feeding off the energy. And then out of nowhere, he just chickened out of the trick and boneless into the bank, which was like gnarlier than the Ollie. It's just like, that's typical of how out of it Ben is. I recently moved into my mate's apartment. So there's like five of us living there. I live in the kitchen, yeah. Ben lives on the couch next to me. We got a good setup going. It's good company, always got someone to talk to. When you try to go to bed and it's dark, he's like, hey Jonathan, you awake? I don't know what he was trying to accuse me of. Like, His feet are just fucking rancid, dude. Come back and he's like, was it you that put all that weird grease in my cup? He's got his stuff just a little bit of everywhere. I'm gonna keep these pants up here as like a bit of decoration. I've got respect for cups. I've got my own cup and I use it like to do stuff with. I would not take someone else's cup and do bad things to it because I've got too much respect for cups. <laughs>
pizzas. There's pizzas. Everybody's all about it except for me. He, he's scared of cheese. Can I get no cheese with that? He always orders less cheese, please. Cheese is the worst. He was vegan for like two months, but I think he eats meat again. It didn't last very long. The chicken got the better of me. Uh, he's funny with girls. He's like so shy and doesn't know what to do. Just the girls don't like me, man. Dude, any girl would love to get with like a dude that has a British accent. Especially if we're out here. Has no idea what, like, how to be cool or anything. Like 50% of the girls I ever talked to tell me I sound like Naboo. Get away from me, you old bag. 